Queen feels her exposed. Big decision Prince Philip made that Morna will never be able to. The Queen may be have more powers than her husband. Prince Philip, but there is still a big aspect of life that is denied to her, according to royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams. The Queen will never be able to retire like her husband, Prince Philip, a royal commentator, has revealed. Richard Fitzwilliams spoke to Express.co.uk about the reason, the main reason why the British monarch and her husband differ in this way. Prince Philip has been retired from royal duties since 2017 and spends most of his time at Sandringham Castle. Mr. Fitzwilliam said the reason for that is because the roles are so different. The Queen wouldn't use the word retire, it's abdicate. If there was some incapacity which prevented the Queen doing her job as she felt it ought to be done, then things would, after, would alter. But she's not forgotten her uncle's abdication that is still regarded with some more horror. The Queen's uncle Edward VIII became King of the United Kingdom in 1936, following the death of his father George V, but ruled for less than a year. He abdicated the throne in order to marry his lover, Wallace Simpson, thereafter taking the title Duke of Windsor. The crisis caused widespread scandal and led to the succession of King George VI, the Queen's father. On her 21st birthday in April 1947, the then princess dedicated her life to the service of the Commonwealth in a broadcast speech. Prince Philip celebrated his 99th birthday last month in lockdown with the Queen at Windsor Castle, where the pair are isolating amid the pandemic. The Duke of Edinburgh is now officially the third oldest royal in British history. The palace released a new picture of the couple to mark the occasion. It was the first time the prince has been seen in public after she, he was released from hospital on Christmas Eve after a four night stay. There have been fears for Philip's health amid the pandemic at 98 years old and having already suffered some health scares, the Duke of Edinburgh is among those at highest risk. The Queen is also at risk, and therefore precautions have been taken. Both roles are shielding in Windsor Castle with a select group of key staff.